Yo, what's up, you guys? It kind of makes me wonder how many lies a person can tell and how wrong a person can be and how fake a person can be. They can play like they're cool with you, play like they're against people that's after you. In reality, the people that you thought was after you was not really after you. They were just upset about something. And then they finally realized that everything was good with you, too. And it's been people, a few people out there that's been telling lies and making false reports about stuff that's not even true or possible. And but to let them know, you know, God do not like evil. He do not like people that lie so much. And the federal government is going to do all of this stuff. And that person is going to be prosecuted. I don't know where, but they will. Because when you lie to a federal agency, you know, about somebody, about an individual, and they check every day, that's a bad crime. And I guess that person didn't really think before they did it, before they told so many big lies. And I, I don't even have to really look into it because I know what this person told about this other person. It's a totally lie. I know that for sure. I, I, I could be a witness and account to that. And this person told a lie because they hate somebody. And then they pretend to be my friend and pretend to like me. But they didn't really like me. It was two women that pretended to, you know, be my friend, but they didn't really like me. And I noticed that after I was talking to them for like a couple of, I would say, probably three weeks, three or four weeks ahead, they stopped messaging me. Uh, one of them said that they had to, they were dealing with their daughter uh, schooling and stuff which I don't think that was the truth at all. I think they stopped talking because they wanted to use me to pretty much hate somebody that they hated. And not because that person was this horrible monster. No, it's because they didn't like that person. And when you don't like that person, you gotta say anything to make the victim look bad or take away their freedoms or take away everything that they work hard for or that they get help on. And God don't like ugly at all. <laughs> and lie to the feds. That's a really, really dumb mistake. Dumbest mistake ever. Because they tell everything, you know what I'm saying? They tell, you know, what you said, everything. It's no secret. And they check everything. So once they see that you made a false pull, false report, Old a individual person that didn't really do that to you, but you know, tried to be cool with you, be civil with you. But did you order the fake bed, my friend? And then you want to break my name up in something that don't even have to do with me anymore. You know what I'm saying? I don't get it. I don't get it. So, hard lesson, you guys. Don't ever trust anybody. Don't 
interest through by the God of the soul. Daddy be your exes, uh, predecessors, or enemies, or any of that. You know what I'm saying? Who needs to trust anybody? And what you need to do is trust people that cares about you, that really cares about you, what hurts you say. And anybody can say that they have your back because you are not friends with somebody or cool with somebody. You know what I'm saying? Anybody can say that. But do they really have your back? Do they? Now, they stab you the back all the time. They throw you the bus. And they throw those that you care about and love under the bus, too, all the time. It, and it happens a lot, you know. And so these people that go around lying and commit federal crimes, they're going to have to answer for it later on in court. They're going to have to explain themselves why they did that. Because the lie is a lie. The truth is the truth. And if you say that somebody, you know, made a lot of money, whatever they did, and they find out that that's not true, that's a lie. That's, that's a felony right there. Can't do that. You gotta have your facts straight. And you should have thought about that before you pretty much made a fake report on somebody that did really, you know, did really do that to you. You know what I'm saying? And they try to be civil and earth day to you. And they was probably mad at me because I was believing you. And so that's probably why they started making videos against me because I was falling for your stuff. And when you brought my name up for something that didn't even have to do with me. And, and you lied and lied and lied and lied. So it kind of makes me wonder how many lies did this person told of me and this other person who I care about? Hmm. Probably too many. Because what you did told multiple lies, you cannot change or undo what you did, did you know? You cannot say, oh, well, well, you know what I'm saying? There's no justification in lying on somebody to the fans and then making up stuff that's not even possible. It's, it didn't even happen like that. So, for those that trusted people on social media or in real life be careful watch this rallies don't trust everybody just because somebody tell you that they got your back does not mean they got your back throughout the year people have told me I got your back I got your back and then they stabbed me in the back, you know, because they didn't agree to what I believed in that was right and be taken up for myself on something that, something that I didn't do or something that never really happened, something that's really possible. So it kind of makes you wonder what else had this person uh, and what else has this person been up to over the past month or three weeks and then they talked about 
how they're victims and they lied to other people just to get other people in trouble. No way, you're not the victim at all because the victims do not lie on other people. No, they don't. And try to destroy people because that's just evil. It's just evil. Evil. I would never do that to nobody. I wouldn't even do that to my worst enemy. Never. Why? You know what I'm saying? I, you know, of course I would defend myself when it comes to like attacks or lies or something like that. But I wouldn't go as far as making, you know, false reports or allegations that could get somebody in trouble. And stuff that's not even possible. So that never happened. And so you want to blame that person a month ago who I was, you know, having problems with. Um, but in reality, yes, I disagree with what they posted and stuff like that. But in reality, They was probably posted that because I was, you know, pretty much taking up for you and, and did the other person. And they was, you know, upset and, and didn't like that at all, which is unsteadable. And so I think it's best for us if you know somebody that lies so much that can't stop lying to know somebody stay away from them don't even talk to them don't talk about it nothing like that and the reason why I'm talking about it because this situation is important it is relevant to talk about And I feel like that this person stabbed me in the back and they betrayed me. By breaking my name up is something that they didn't have to do with me. You know what I'm saying? Why? Why you break my name up? Why you told so many lies on this other person? Hmm. So I like some people I used to know back in the days. But most people I know would do that stuff. Do that like that. They don't want no federal case charge or nothing like that. Because that's like, that's really big. That's serious. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I don't understand it at all. Do not understand it. But I should have seen it coming three weeks ago. And especially when both of those people start texting me and stop coming to my video and copying it and stuff like that. That should have been the red flag right now. And all they wanted to do is pretty much destroy their person that they didn't like for some prayer reason. And so in order to get to me to get to them. And, you know, I see through it and I know that those two people were not real. They would they were not honest at all. And they didn't have, you know, good intentions of 
trying to be my friend or trying to act like you know, they were my friend. And you start to find out who your real true friends are. Because once you start going through stuff, you know who sticks around and you know who doesn't. You know who protects you and calls you and pretty much who doesn't. And this person that that they were uh, trying to destroy who I deeply care about, you know, like a person and stuff like that. They turned, they tried to make this person to be like this awful person that they went for. And yes, they made mistakes. Yes, they did stuff that I didn't like. And, you know, we all have, you know. But they never went so deep in making a false report on somebody. But the people that try to play victim did. And once the people, the right people put it all together, those people that lied to the feds, they're going to wish they never did. They go, wish they never did. Because you don't do stuff like that. Because they will find out. They will get to the bottom of it. They will. They will. Because the government knows everything. The government can find out anything. Anything. Don't never break my name up is something that don't got to do with me or really we shouldn't bring it up in the first place. Why? What for? That just don't make no sense. But anyways guys, I wanted to make a video for a premiere because I haven't really did a long premiere in a long, long time. But of course I've been doing like on my TikTok stream, but other than that, I, you know, I really did a real, real talk. talking. So anything that this person is saying about this other person, I know without even looking at, without even looking at stuff, that it's not true. It's not possible because I was there for three years and I see her witness stuff and I know the truth and I was telling it like this, telling it, telling it like it is. And I trusted in this person for three weeks. Three or four weeks I trusted in this person. And I don't know why. You know, my gut did tell me nothing wrong, but, but maybe God would be the learn from learn from me and grow from me and don't make the mistake again over and over and over. So, I don't know. But anyways, you guys, have a really, really wonderful weekend. And I hope y'all take care. And I hope to see y'all soon. Later.